Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in today. I have some good stuff to share with you today. I've got a whole new model that we're releasing right now. We've just finished development on it. This is the XCS Bravo. So another X-Series product using the same drivers, using oh, the five and a quarters. So it's a smaller version of the XCS Encore. Also sealed box. Good for center channel applications, good for applications where you're using it as a left and right main. And the response is really smooth. And vertical and horizontal off axis are really smooth. Let's take a look at some of the measurements. These things turned out great. Let's look at the crossover response and you'll see just how smooth of a response this thing really is. I know we zoom in on it on a 5 dB scale because we're looking at it real closely. So it may look like there's some little bit of a little, you know, little bump here or there. But keep in mind, that's a plus or minus a dB almost all the way across. So super smooth. And let's look at some of the off-axis responses on this thing. First of all, um, let's look at it as a center channel because that's primarily what we're going to be using this thing for what you guys will be using it for and if you look at it going vertically up and down this way you'll see there's virtually no change in the response now center channels in this configuration when you start going off axis what happens is you get a delay in time from one woofer to the next as you move off axis that delay causes cancellation causes a hole in the response that's the same with any configuration that's like this with a tweeter in the mid on each side. Now these mid base drivers are fairly small. They're five and a quarter inches and they're pushed in tight. They're overlapping onto the tweeter. So the acoustic centers are much closer together. So if you're using this as a center channel, you've got a coverage area that's as wide as a couch that you may have in front of it. And it's going to cover all that great with little to no change. You start getting outside of that 30 to 40 degrees off axis, you're going to see some drop off in response. Let's take a look at it and you can see what I'm talking about here. Red is on axis. Orange is 10 degrees off axis. The yellow line, 20 degrees off axis. Still looks really good. It's not until you get 30 to 40 degrees off axis that you start to see this thing really drop a little bit. Um, let's look at it as a left and right main. That means we turn it up on its end like this. Let's look at the vertical off axis now. Now, in this case, you know, we're still moving up and down, but not as far. You can't cram your head through the floor, through the ceiling far enough to be that far off axis. Vertically, it's got a good even coverage in the, within that range in the room when you've got it standing up in this configuration. Horizontal off axis looks pretty good too, drops off pretty evenly. A little bit of a higher spot there in the horizontal going this direction that mirror image images the off axis and the vertical going the other way so the two tend to average each other out let's look though at the spectral decay this is where i love these drivers they just play and they stop they don't store energy they don't have any residual ring these things are just super fast and the impedance curve looks really good it's an easy load these are 16 ohm woofers that are in parallel so even your receiver that's going to be driving these things is just going to see an 8 ohm load easy to drive with anything and the base level kit for this thing is going to start at 199 bucks and for 199 bucks you get all poly caps all air core inductors from us coils good quality resistors good quality wire you get a binding post cup and everything 199 dollars i mean that's tough to beat if you want to take it up several levels there's options for tube connectors there's options for sauna caps you can take this up to a pretty high level. And it is also going to be a great matching center channel for the old Brute here. Yep, the Brute. You, you guys saw me mention this in an earlier video. We've been working on this design, and we are about to assemble a pair of these, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. And I'm going to tell you about it in part two of this video clip here. I'm going to do XCS Bravo, and then... We're going to wrap this one up, and then the next day we'll try and launch the video on the Brute, which I'm going to shoot in just a few minutes, and I can't wait to tell you about it. Sensitivities of this thing matches. 
the brute it matches the drivers it's perfect for those applications so thanks for watching this one i know it was a short and sweet one but we'll have another one following this up pretty quickly thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one